Good morning. Welcome to Stock Training Web Series. Today I'll be demonstrating on how to create a site collection in Office 365. I've been doing a couple of videos on SharePoint and other areas, but you know this is this should be the core area where that you need to start with, right? Obviously, you need to create a site collection before you start working on SharePoint. And uh, about sites, well, a site is a core thing to SharePoint and represents the starting point for developers. And without site collection, you won't be able to start SharePoint development. So this is what I mentioned earlier, right? Also, a Microsoft SharePoint online site collection is a top level site that contains the subsites. A number of site templates are available which you can use and the subsites share administration net settings, navigation and permissions, each of which can be changed for individual subsites as required. Now, how do you create a site collection? Now, when you learn an application like SharePoint, it's a good idea to create an area where you can perform exercises without affecting the existing environments or users, right? So what do you do? So in order to create a new site collection, now let's first you need to go to portal.office.com, log in with the username and password like this, and now you end up in this page, right? Now it depends, you know, some users, they go direct to your mail or, you know, to, directly to the SharePoint portal right depends on the configuration anyway so what you need to do is go to the admin icon as you see here or you can also get from this button on my left hand side top navigation click on admin and what happens next is it goes to this following page right okay so here's where you reach now not everyone should have this kind of an access depends on the user's privileges. Now, since uh, if you're an existing SharePoint user, not necessarily you'll be able to go to an admin center privilege. This is actually designed for users who has an SharePoint administrator access. So please, please, uh, you know, make sure that you have a SharePoint admin access again. So this is the admin center. Next thing, what you need to do is you need to go to resources. You can find rooms and equipment, sites, and public site website. Now, what I do is I click on sites. Okay, so these are some of my sites that I've created here. What I can do is click on add a site. Takes me to another page. Here you go. So now I get to the new page where I need to add my new site collection. So let's call it right SharePoint demo. This is my website URL. It's going to call it sites slash SharePoint demo. Let's call it that way. The language is English and what's a type was a template that I require, right? Now this site will be used as a team site or is this for blogging purposes or it's purely for development, or just a project site or a community site. If I move to enterprise tab, I have a document center, e-discovery center, record center. So I have a bunch of options to select. Publishing portal and enterprise wiki. And also I can, you know, probably create custom templates and I can put over here. So if you're not sure, I think it's, it's always better to go with the first option. That's the team site. Select your time zones. And also, don't forget to mention your administrator user or access set for this site collection, right? And then you hit OK. So now let's look for our, yeah, here you go. So this, this is the one we just created now. So you can see that site collection is added to your admin center URL list, right? And the URL is the site collection location in, at which the administrator can start to create and manage sites. It's just swelling down, it's, it's gonna take some time, right? So we'll wait for it. All right, so now as you see here, I've created this. So I'm just gonna click on this link and I get a detailed information regarding the site collection. 
So the title is SharePoint demo, the website address, the primary administrator and the other administrators, number of subsites, was the storage used and the resource usage, server resource quota, resource usage warning level is not set. So I get all these details over here. So this is how I create a site collection and I can also see the status or you know what is what is the kind of levels of storage I've been using or what is the resource availability for this particular site collection. So this is the way, this is how you create a site collection with an Office 365. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We'll be coming with more and more videos on SharePoint. So stay tuned. Have a great day.